Millions of people have seen Leonardo da Vinci's famed painting, The Mona Lisa. But who is the real woman behind that famous smile? Early on, the answer seemed clear. The model for da Vinci's painting was assumed to be Lisa del Giocondo, the wife of a wealthy Florentine silk merchant. Italians even began to call the painting La Gioconda. But da Vinci left no notes about the Mona Lisa and failed to give the portrait to the del Giocondo family when he died sparking an age-old mystery. Who was the real Mona Lisa? Everyone seemed to have their own idea. Could it have been Princess Isabella of Naples, an anonymous courtesan, da Vinci's own mother? Some even said Mona Lisa's face wasn't based on that of a woman at all, but that of a man, Leonardo's young apprentice, or even the artist himself. In 2005, a German researcher uncovered a new piece of evidence, a 500-year-old note written by one of da Vinci's friends. It says the artist was working on a portrait of Lisa del Giocondo in October 1503, around the same time da Vinci was known to have completed the Mona Lisa. So, is the case closed? Not quite yet. In 2011, a team of researchers in Florence dug up a skeleton buried in an old convent where they believe Lisa del Giocondo died in 1542. They hope to identify it with DNA and use the skull to reconstruct her face. Then they can compare it to the woman in the painting. Clever or creepy? Maybe both. Either way, their quest is proof of how much people still care about Leonardo's masterpiece, even 500 years after he painted it.